Okay, so I got my jab on Friday, my second vaccination jab on Friday. So that makes today, I think day five, if my math is correct, of my recovery process. Um, kind of similar with my first jab, except that day two was kind of shit. Um, but other than that, I feel great. I feel fine. The only diff the only downside of uh, recovering is that I kind of feel lazy sometimes, especially today. Kind of just want to lay in bed and not do anything. But I still got to do my work, right? So um, I anticipated that because the first jab was kind of similar. And therefore, I got myself a pair of these. It's a uh, lazy reading glasses. So cute. You look at the box. They even have this. So as the illustration explains, these are periscope glasses that you can wear so that you can look downwards while facing forward. Basically, it's, a, it's to allow you to like lie down and use your uh, laptop, your phone or whatever with no neck strain, I would guess. So let's open it up and take a look. So package is kind of fucked up. I don't know if it's because of the delivery or what. But good thing is the glasses are kept in a nice little ziplock. And this is pretty much it. Nice little silicone matte finish at the sides. Uh, the, gl the, the glasses are kind of hard, I guess, to support the periscope um, design. So essentially it's just regular glasses, no degree obviously, and then a periscope. Is it called a periscope? Whatever lah. Uh, mirrors to bounce the image upwards into your eyes this way. Which means I can do this. Um, there's no sizes when I ordered this and it fits a little tight around my uh, temple. So I don't know how this will feel in the long term. Okay, so I got my laptop and I got the sunglasses. I'm ready to work. Let's go. Okay, so first things first, um, the glasses aren't really sitting properly because it's a little protruding out the back of my my ears. So when I lie down, right, it sort of pushes the spectacles upwards. But if I lay motionless in the pillow, it seems to be doing a fine job of just keeping itself stationary. And uh, I guess my eyes can accommodate to that quite easily. Lah. I'm gonna bring the thing closer. <laughs> Maybe because my eyes are not fully aligned to the periscope. I can see the insides of the periscope itself, which causes like a very big white line to appear. That could also be because of the light shining in my face. Like if I block the light from shining into the periscope, right? I guess there's no white line now, but I don't know, man. That's a minor setback, I guess. I think all in all, it's pretty okay to be using this uh, as a relaxation tool, I guess. Working on it is a little tricky, considering that I gotta orientate myself to this new bed. And I guess if you're lying in bed, it makes things a lot easier. So far, so good. It takes a little bit more distance to travel from there to your eyes, right? Because of the way that light bends your image actually feels smaller than in real life. Like if I look at it this size versus looking at it from here, for me to help with that. fuck off. The image that you're getting using the product versus what you see in real life is going to be a lot smaller. But that's fine because like, in fact, it actually makes it easier for me to look at because it's, it's a smaller target area for me to focus at, I guess. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the best way to look at it. Oh, taking off the specs takes a little while for your eyes to adjust back to I'm guessing because of the different focal length and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I just took off the glasses and stood up and walked around a little bit. Now I feel dizzy. I'm, I'm guessing because my brain, my brain needs a little bit of time to get used to this uh, 
to, to adjust back to the new perspective, the way the vision connects with the mind. Okay, feel better, let's go. Okay, so we've tested the thing lying down and it seems to work pretty okay, but what about standing up? What if I want to be, I don't know, chopping vegetables, but don't want my neck down? Or what if I want to do some typing work, but don't want my neck down? Let's try it out and see how it goes. Ooh, this feels weird. This is really weird. This feels very disorienting. Oh, I guess because the visual signal that my brain is getting is that I'm falling over. Yeah, I, I, I think it's because the visual signal I'm getting is that I'm falling over and therefore the, the body wants to bend down but I know that I'm not falling over. And then it creates this disconnect. And it's very disorienting for a while. So I'm gonna just gonna try typing some random nonsense on the text document and then see how that goes. Hello, my friend, how are you? Um, still a little disorienting to use. Still kind of weird to be typing. Yeah, this feels very um, non-intuitive. I'm gonna try holding it up and see if it helps. Plus I'm sweating a bit and it's kind of slipping downwards, which is super annoying. Still kind of weird to be typing this way. What if I... Uh, oh, hand eye coordination is terrible with this. What if I use my hands this way? Okay, not working, man, not working. I find that while I'm wearing this, right, I have to keep shifting my eyes to focus at different spots that I'm typing at. And, uh, not the most intuitive way. Maybe with a bit more practice, I might get it to work the way it's intended. <coughs> but I'm getting more of a headache than if I just held it this way. This is more natural, right? All in all, I find that it's a fun product. Probably have its own use cases. Like if, again, if you're just gonna like bit and not move, that's fine. But if you're going to be standing up and do, moving around, please avoid that. Why is my voice like this? <clears throat> please do not use it standing up. You're just going to end up fainting, falling over, knocking into something. Or at the worst case scenario, cutting yourself. So yeah, avoid that. There's a lot of like movement from your head, especially when you're standing up. And wearing this because of the way that it changes your field of view, your perspective. It's gonna cause a lot of like motion sickness. It's gonna cause way more motion sickness if you're wearing this while standing up. It's kind of weird to be. It is definitely not a one size fit all situation. I wish they kind of ha have like dials to allow you to like adjust it kind of like binoculars, but I'm guessing that that's gonna make it a little bit heavier. Go for it, man. I think it's a very fun thing to be using. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at this point, everyone's curious about it. It's not too expensive anyways. So if you want to try it out for yourself, Link is in the description. Doesn't cost you any extra, but it'd be good for me to continue messing around and trying out weird things like this. Until then, I don't know what else I'm gonna try. That's one product off my list right now. Bye-bye.